Hello, hello, good morning, good morning. Yeah, you can come and watch me, drink my morning coffee. Yeah. I have me a little coffee moment. I notice coffee is such an appetite suppressant. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm just feeling so sluggish and fatigued today i have like zero energy and i hope i snap out of it soon which i'm sure i will because i go through phases throughout the day where i'm just like energy no energy energy no energy so i kind of embrace those as they come i'm wearing betsy johnson earrings i've had these for so long and i think this is like the first time i've worn them so love that okay guys i have a massive bag of torrid I'm gonna take a piece of clothing, I'm gonna throw it in a vlog, I'm gonna like show you guys how it looks on me and such, you know, cause I don't wanna do it all in one video. I think it would just be fun. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, first things first. This is a size six t-shirt. It's this really pretty olive green color. The sleeves have, <laughs> what babe? I love it. You like it? I do like it. I know, I love the color. The sleeves have like this really cute stripe moment. So now, I'm gonna try it on. Okay, so here it is on, and I'm actually shocked. It fits pretty well. Like, I'm not used to t-shirts fitting me as well, but I mean, with a little bit of weight loss, like these three pounds, inside joke. Um, Yeah, like, it fits. I love the color. I love how it fits. Sorry if the couch is a mess. That's all the stuff that we got from Ross that I still have not put away. So I think I wanna rate each outfit, or each, uh, it's not really an outfit like dress or shirt that I get. I'm gonna do it out of five and I literally give this probably a four or a 4.5 out of five. And my girlfriend also said a 4.5. My girlfriend's rate my outfits, clickbait. <laughs> Okay, you guys, make lunch with me. First things we need is flatbread. You are also going to need cream cheese, some lunch meat of your choice. Mine is rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. You're gonna need some scallion, some ranch seasoning. Okay, so I wanna make it known that I actually saw my friend do this recipe on TikTok. I am switching it up a little bit, but I wanted to try it. So I have this, I'm doing it in a clear cup so you guys can see it um, on my scale. So I can put a serving down of the cream cheese, which is 31 grams, 31 grams. Okay, that's 28. Now I'm gonna add some of this ranch seasoning. So now you're gonna cut some scallion. So my friend put parsley, but in replace of parsley, I am putting an onion flavor because I personally love it. So I'm just chopping these pieces super, super small. Okay, so we're gonna add that to this mixture. So you also have the option to cook some bacon and crumple it up in this mixture. But if we're being quite frank here, I forgot. Okay, so I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna smear it. I hate that word, smear, so gross. Then just put your desired meat on the wrap, obviously. And then you're gonna roll it up, which I'm usually kind of bad at this, but we'll see. Wow, I did not do too bad. And now you're just gonna cut them into pinwheels. <laughs> I love me a pinwheel and I've never made, made one from scratch. You can do it in so many different ways. Um, I just wanted to try something easy to see what I thought. And then there you go. You have your cute little sandwiches. Aren't they so cute? So I'm gonna go eat this. Wait, you know what? We should do a taste test. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's 10 out of 10. Hey guys, okay. So I promised in my last vlog that I would talk about outpatient and give you guys an update on that, but I totally forgot, slipped my mind. So I know that my decisions and the way that I live my life reflects on the way that you guys treat me. <laughs> it is something I have very much noticed. So I'm expecting a lot of backlash, a lot of hate, a lot of people being disappointed in me. 
and I think that's the reason why I didn't want to share this right off the bat because I'm kind of just like enjoying my life right now I'm trying to be like positive and just like motivated and inspired to live my life so I have officially taken a pause on outpatient I noticed that they did not want me to talk about weight loss that was not they oh god um, crying whining little baby bitch acting out like an adolescent girl who whines on twitter hey fuck up grow the fuck up you crying whining little baby bitch um the program that I was doing, they're very much health at every size, which I completely disagree with. I don't believe in that at all. I do believe beauty at every size, so don't get me wrong, but I don't believe in health at every size at all. And so it made it to where it was hard for me to talk about my weight, hard for me to talk about my weight loss and my health problems because of it and me wanting to just save my life. I felt guilty talking about those things, almost like I wasn't supposed to. It was like I was walking on eggshells. So currently in my life, I am actively losing weight, trying to lose weight. There will be a weigh-in, so don't worry, you guys. Do not have to worry about that. I'm actually very proud of myself. I'm feeling amazing. I had multiple, like several appointments with the program. So I've had easily over 10 hours of outpatient program, and I know that those 10 hours honestly did change a big part of my brain. I want to see a nutritionist, even though I feel like everything they're going to tell me is stuff I already know. Um, am I saying I'll like not do outpatient forever no maybe i will go back but i'm taking what i did learn already using that and i'm also using what i already knew it turns out i knew more than i freaking thought like my psychologist was like you're smarter than you think and i was like i feel like i'm dumb literally i feel like i'm an idiot i know all this knowledge i just don't put it into action as for therapy i love it so i'm actually going to see if i can keep my psychologist as a therapist and not as someone who is like telling me not to count calories. I really want my psychologist to, or my future therapist to support me in my decision of weight loss because this is for my health, it's for my future, and it's very important. That's that's ultimately what needs to happen here. Let's be real, my life is paused while I am this size and I wanna press play. <laughs> and I also would like to say that I have not binged in, oh my gosh, it's been almost a week and it honestly feels amazing. Um, I noticed that doing the outpatient, it actually triggered me to binge because I was talking so much about like, trauma it was just like trauma 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 and i'm just like okay let's slow down for a second <laughs> so we can talk more about this down the line give you more updates on if i keep the psychologist you know whatever it may be i'm not trying to like keep any of this hidden it's just like sometimes i need to process things before i can actually speak about them out loud so i hope that you guys understand that and i think as long as i am making progress mentally and physically in all the health ways and like the mental health and whatever it may be that is the, the track that i'm wanting to be on 100 percent um, I hope that you guys just accept my decision like as a person and know that I am making progress and you guys will see that progress, I promise. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find the light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind